Hello everyone, uh, this is Dr. Pravin Tripathi and with me is Dr. Adrija Ghosh who got a stupendous rank 53 in the INICT. Adrija Beta, many, many congratulations. Thank you so much, sir. So how does it feel? So I don't know, sir. I haven't processed it yet. It's still, it, it is still yet to, stay, it is yet to sink, huh? Yes, sir. Wonderful. So uh, Adrija, uh, if I talk about your preparation, you just told me that you started during the lockdown itself. Yes, sir. So at that time only you started watching videos. Yes. Uh, so, so what did you follow for say pharmacology or pathology or PSMD? Uh, so I started off because at that time everything was closed and they were watching online videos only. Okay. So I had started off with Dr. G.R.G. sir's pharmacology videos and uh, pathology I was watching Dr. Spursh Gupta sir's videos. Mm -hmm. And along with that, I had watched Vivek Jain sir's videos for community medicine. The things that you watched in second year and third year, yes. did you make some kind of notes? Because, you know, remembering everything by the time you reach your internship may become tricky. So how did you manage yeah. that? Uh, yes, sir. I had made uh, GRG sir's notes. And then I had added, I was very weak in pharma, sir. So okay. I had added uh, whatever book I was using at that point from pharma. So I had made my own notes before finals, before that exam. So, All right. and same for patho, sir. I had made my uh, notes for patho. And every year as it went on, I had made my, most of them, then I was using handwritten notes. So, uh, you are from Calcutta Medical College and yes, the internship is pretty heavy over there as far as yes, I know. Sir. So, were you getting enough time to study in the internship? Sir, I could get enough time if I tried hard enough. So, I was, honestly, sir, I was not preparing. I had enjoyed my interview throughout. Okay. I had, had a great time. I had amazing seniors and friends. So, I had a great time during internship and then I started preparing after that. So, you had decided uh, uh, at the beginning itself that internship, I would have some fun and that yes. post internship I would start preparing. Yes. Which, which is a very sound approach, I believe. You know, not everybody has to prepare an internship. If, if you yes. say, that, now four and a half years, I have done a lot of hard work. Now let me take some time off and then prepare. There is nothing wrong with it. Uh, Adrija, I see you are our END student. So you took a lot of ENDs. So how yes. did the ENDs help you? What, what exactly was about the ENDs, the test and discussion that we have that helped you the most? Sir, I used to enjoy watching ENDs and giving the ENDs and then uh, so after every video that came up after the END, so it used to point out where I was going wrong and the topics that I needed to focus on. And also it had a, uh, like every teacher has a different approach to a question. So it was very interesting to see how they are solving the questions and ruling it out. Mm. So that was very helpful for me. Okay. And did you uh, consistently get good ranks in those ENDs? No, sir. Not I was really. uh, not getting good ranks initially. Uh, I, would, I used to get something within 100, 150, 200. Okay. So, you know, what that shows, Andrija, is, you know, the race remains open till very end. Imagine mm -hmm. getting, you know, 150 rank in ENDs and then ending up 50 rank, all India. So, you know, it never ends. It, it yes. never ends. Uh, did you appear for uh, these late night PYQs and the midday modules? Yes, I used to enjoy the late night PYQs a lot. Like, it was a reminder that I need to do PYQs and it was a ready-made set. So I could do it at any point. And even if I had a backlog, I could see that these days I have not done ENDs, I have not done PYQs. Uh, so that was a good reminder. And every day the notification used to come. That you need to do PYQs right now. That would put some pressure also. No? Yes. <laughs> this is like you're like in here. Uh, in the end, uh, Adrija, you used marathon classes. Yes. So how was the experience of the marathon classes? So it was amazing, sir. Especially your marathon, I think entirety of psychiatry you covers in those two hours or three hour classes. It was amazing and uh, everything that was in your notes, I had watched your uh, notes before also. I read those. So so you had covered everything. Even biochemistry, sir, sir had a, such an interesting approach towards biochemistry, which is, I had a great time watching that. And what about the bigger subjects like medicine, surgery, OBG? It is pretty difficult, you know, cover everything in the end. So, yes. so did marathons help you, you know, covering the important stuff right before the exam? Yes, sir. It was, it was a concise source and every time I did not feel like studying or, or during lunch or some other time, I used to switch it on. Even yes. if passively, if I can absorb something. Right. Uh, what was your approach towards END, Sadrija? Sir, I used to... Right. Let me talk about GTs. I, I, I asked yes. you ENDs already. Yes. For GTs, GTs. Uh, so I used to give GTs, I think I started from uh, after November NICD or just around that time. Mm. Uh, so November, December, uh, initially I was giving around every two weeks okay. and then weekly. Mm. And towards the end, I think I gave the last 
uh, that I gave the INI first mock, so the advanced mock. And and how? What was the rank in that? Uh, around one forty. Okay, so in cerebellum mock you got one forty rank, huh? And yes, how many? Sir. How many correct do you remember? Uh, one forty three. One forty three. And finally, you got one fifty. Uh, one mm -hmm. correct. All right, wonderful. <laughs> So nice. I think, uh, so I would especially thank you for that uh, advanced level mock that you had made before INICT. So I had texted you at that time as well that I had a, a extreme time crunch. And every time I was giving the real exam, all I could think about was, at least this is not at, as bad as the cerebellum mock. <laughs> so it was, it was a boost at that point. That was the whole idea, Dvija. If you think about it, na, when you have taken exams though, as difficult as those, Yes, sir. The real exam, you first of all you have some experience. Yes, sir. Secondly, you have been through that situation, so you are better prepared. Mm -hmm. And and uh, uh, you know the same exam if we provide uh, as a GT, and if the same exam comes in a real exam, uh, you are likely to score five percent lesser in the real exam because the pressure is higher. Yes. So yeah, that was the whole idea. I'm glad that uh, you uh, found it that way. Wonderful, Adhija. So now now what what is your plan? Uh, which subject are you planning to pursue in MD or MS? Uh, so I want a surgical branch, sir. Let's, I'll think okay. about it. Okay. Sorry, sir. OBG or surgery? You're still, still thinking about it? I'll think about it, sir. I haven't thought about it. Wonderful. I really like the way, the calm approach that you have for towards everything. And, <laughs> Thank uh, you, sir. That helped you. So very proud of you, Adrija. Well Thank done. You, sir. And uh, I'm sure our parents must be very proud as well. Yes, sir. Wonderful. Thank you for talking to us. Thank, Thank you so much. Sir.